Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at why can't you activate Windows? That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Whether you're running Windows 11 or Windows 10, no matter what version, or whether you're running an older version of Windows, which is end of life, we're going to be talking about why you can't activate Windows today. Now, there's quite a few reasons why you might not be able to activate Windows or you may have lost your activation. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So be first, before we get started, just have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. You can use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order. And once you've set up an account with CD Key Sales, they will then send you your product key. You can use PayPal to purchase your orders. And also, once you've got that, you can head over to the activation center and activate your version of Windows with a legit Windows 10 or 11 product key. OK, so let's get back to the tutorial. The first thing that might cause a problem is change your version of Windows. If you've got a license key that you've purchased and activated Windows with, Maybe it's Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home. If you go to the Microsoft website and download a version of Windows and you try to install a different version of Windows, i.e. Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro or any version above what you've purchased, then what's going to happen is during the installation process, everything will go OK, but you will not be able to activate that version of Windows whether it's an OEM key or whether it's a retail key. If you've purchased a retail key for Windows 11 Home, then you are not going to be able to use that to activate a Windows 11 Pro. And it would be the same for any other version that you purchased. If you've purchased a OEM key and it's a Windows OEM key for Windows Home, you will not be able to activate Windows Pro with that key. Same for upgrading. You cannot upgrade to another version without buying another key first. Now let's talk about counterfeit keys and also pirated keys. If you've managed to activate Windows using one of those shady methods and it's now lost activation, that's because that key has now been terminated by Microsoft. You cannot use pirated keys or activators or any of those nasty ways of activating Windows. Most of these contain malware or backdoors. So I would not advise you using any of these methods to activate uh, Windows at all. Also, hackers could also gain access to your computer if you've used an activator that contains backdoors in it and you can end up with major problems. All that's going to happen is if you don't activate Windows is you will see a activate Windows right at the very bottom of your computer. This is not going to hurt your computer. You can still use your computer without activating Windows and Microsoft haven't enforced this by making you or forcing you to activate. All they do is put a watermark on the bottom right hand corner of Windows and they also disable a couple of minor uh, features on Windows, but you can continue to use it. Although they do advise you to activate Windows, but they do not enforce it. So it's better off to use an unactivated version of Windows rather than downloading one of those dodgy uh, pirated keys or using activators, which can cause major problems with your computer. And also it's illegal, so I wouldn't advise doing it. Moving on to another one why you might not be able to activate is if it's installed on multiple computers. Now, retail keys can be transferred from one computer to another computer, but it can only be activated on one computer at any one time. OEM keys are normally installed and activated on one computer and it's not meant to be transferred to other computers and it can't be used or activated on multiple computers at any one time. Now, volume keys are different types of keys or other keys that are for business use, which are normally activated on multiple computers. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about the general public keys, which you can purchase, which are normally OEM keys or retail keys. You'll probably find a lot of videos on YouTube and also on the internet where they're telling you to use a key and get free activation. These are illegal. These are activated by KMS activators or scripts. And these are using a key which is for a company and they are installed on multiple different computers. But eventually these keys will be killed off and you will lose your activation and you will then have to reactivate Windows. So if you're one of these people that have a PC that has lost its activation, 
Now, it was probably a Cantivit key or some sort of uh, pre-activated key by someone else uh, using a KMS activator or something like that, which is completely illegal. And that's probably why it's lost its uh, activation. Let's move on to the next one, which is a hardware change. Now, normally what happens is if you've purchased an OEM key, that means that it is tied to the motherboard. So if you replaced your motherboard and your CPU and RAM, or even if you just replaced your motherboard with a brand new motherboard, a different motherboard, then that will die with that computer because OEM keys are activated and stored on the motherboard. So basically, if the motherboard has been changed, that uh, activation will uh, be no more. You will need to purchase another key to reactivate Windows once you reinstall it. Now, what happens if you had a version of Windows already installed on your hard drive? With the motherboard change, this would simply deactivate. And in some cases, some people have changed their hard drive to a new hard drive and reinstall Windows and it doesn't activate and end up with a activation error. And that's because sometimes Microsoft can be a bit finicky about hardware changes, but you can use the built-in troubleshooter tool for the activation uh, troubleshooter to try to troubleshoot your activation and it will sometimes reactivate just with a hardware change like uh, your hard drive. But I'm pretty sure that if you change your motherboard to a new motherboard, it's going to die with that motherboard, especially if it's an OEM key. But remember, if you do have a retail key, you will need to deactivate it first before you change PCs or you change any hardware. Next up, a pre-owned PC. If you've purchased a PC from eBay or maybe someone else, maybe they've activated it in some unsavory way. And what's happened is when you get the PC, it deactivates itself over time and you will need to then buy a new product key to reactivate it. And that is pretty much it. That is the main reasons why you can't activate Windows or you've lost activation of Windows. These are the most key uh, points of why it's happened. Now, once you've fixed all these issues, you can then go in and activate it. You can see we do have a non-activated system here. And all you need to do is go into the activation center, click on change product key and put in your product key that you've purchased here. Make sure it's the correct product key for the version that you're trying to activate. For instance, this is Windows 11 Pro, and it would have to be a Windows 11 Pro key to activate that version of Windows. Once you've done that, you can click activate, and it will go ahead and activate your version of Windows. It should say Windows is now activated, and this is a digital license, which means it's an OEM key, which means if I change the motherboard, that uh, computer would need a new activation key for that version of Windows because Microsoft will deem that as a new computer. The only way you would be able to keep the activation is if you had a retail key, like I've said, and you can then transfer that over to a new computer or make as many changes to the hardware as you like, as long as you deactivate it and reactivate it, especially if it's a new uh, motherboard and a new CPU or something along those lines. And that's pretty much it. That is the reasons why you can't activate your version of Windows. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comment section below whether you've got any other reasons why this would not activate or you've lost activation. I'll be interested to read your comments down below. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one or tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. Uh, I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll catch you in the very next video. Have a lovely weekend, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.